Hi folks, it's Evil here from Thunamis Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunamis Fishing Tips. You know, when it's early spring and that weather starts to warm up, it just makes for great catfishing. And you know, you get your trusty pail, that's what we're doing today, Antonio and I. We're going to be using the T-turn rig and I've got a two T-turn rig here, as you can see, T-turn to a hook, T-turn to a hook, one below the sinker. And you? I've got a sliding method for with a T-turn with two different hooks. One a little bit longer, one a little shorter. So we'll see what works. Yeah, that's a nice system that'll let the, you, you know, let you can let the catfish run with the bait. They don't sense the sinker. Real good system. They both work. And what we're gonna do today, folks, we're gonna use cut bait. Normally we use cut bait for channel catfish. And as you can see, Antonio already got his line in before we could even get set up here <laughs> and already caught a fish. But uh, cut bait works not only for channel cats, it also works great for bullheads. And you know what? The beauty of the cut bait, it catches you, on average, the bigger bullheads. So we're hoping to get into some bigger ones today. Stay tuned, folks. It's a beautiful day. Why not spend it fishing? Okay, I'm going to get my line out there. First cast of the day. Out we go. I've got a, just a light fishing rod that I'm using today. And I've got the... Poor man's rod holder here. <laughs> I think every fisherman's used a rod holder like this. Any stick that you could find in the ground that goes makes for a perfect setup. And I keep my keep my rod nice and low to the ground. Um, that makes sure that my line is nice and low, so my baits are going to be both on the bottom, and that's exactly where I want them to be. I'm going to cast in the same area. I'm going to scent up that area with the. Uh, with the cut bait and attract the catfish and hopefully get into some nice fish. There we go. That was a nice bite. Oh, that was a good bite. Oh, I love it. That didn't take too long either. I recast my line out though. I didn't like how close it was in. I wanted to fish out a little bit further and uh, I just cast my line out there a little further and uh, it wasn't out there two minutes. And that's the thing, when you get these bites, on the cut bait, you don't have to pull right away. You can uh, you can wait. Give them a chance to take that bait before you set the hook. Okay. Let's see if that's a decent. Oh, he's crossing Antonio's line there. Okay, there's a decent bullhead. Yeah, and that's what I mean about getting the bigger fish on the cut bait. They always seem to be a little bit bigger on the cut bait strips. And all you need is a little strip of cut bait, a little one inch, uh, one inch strip is all you need. But there's a nice, uh, nice bullhead catfish right there. Yeah, I mean they're not huge, but they're a nice size. Okay, <laughs> he's a little lost right now. But what I'm going to do, this bait is still good, and that's the thing with cut bait. You can keep it on; it's very durable. And let's get mine out there. I'm going to cast it. There's a nice cast. I'm way out there now. That's where I want to be. That's where the fish seem to be. Hopefully I get into another one. Antonio's helping everybody else over there. And I got another nice bite and a good fish. And he's take a drag, this guy. Must be a decent bullhead. <laughs> you know, using a light gear, it's just fantastic. You catching bullheads on light tackle. It's just a riot. And the hooks I'm using, I'm running a, I'm running size six hooks, long shank, but uh, you could use as low, as low as size eight. You could use size six, size four, even size two hooks. This guy's fighting. Those are all decent sized hooks to use for bullhead. And I think he might've crossed Antonio's line. Oh, maybe it's not a bullhead. What do we got here? <laughs> if it's a bullhead, it's a huge one. What do we have here? I've got, like I say, I'm running light line. I'm only running six pound test. You know what? I think it's a channel cat. I think it's a channel catfish. Oh, it is a channel cat. Oh, and a good one too. 
Now there's a bonus fish while fishing for fishing for bullhead using little tiny strips of cut bait. And how about this for a bonus fish? Oh, I was wondering when I set the hook. <laughs> sure felt a lot bigger. Wow. <laughs> That's why I was thinking it'd be the world's biggest channel cat or the world's biggest bullhead if it was a bullhead. But he's hooked good even the even though I said we're using these small hooks. Ah. I got lucky because it's hooked right in the side of his mouth here. In fact, I'll use the needle nose to get it out. But normally for for channel cats, I'd like to use wide gap hooks, typically size 5 ot. <laughs> fishing for bullhead, catching a channel like that on light tackle, six pound test line. I don't know, does it get any better than that? Okay. <laughs> and away he goes, I got a little bit of a shower, but that was great. Hey, You've decided to come back, hey Antonio? Yeah. We come back. We're fishing with a few other folks today, some of who are a little camera shy, and that's all right, and Antonio seems to be going over there to help them out, and that's always great. But uh, I just got in another fish here, Antonio. It's good, any size? Uh, you know, the last one I caught was decent. About the size, about the same size as the one you caught. But uh, again, he gave me a nice bite. And I think you know, folks, from what I mentioned earlier, it's those slow tugs, they're always the best to pull on. And they're aggressive, these fish are aggressive. The water, Antonio, you're getting bites, I, I think. see that. Or is it my line that's across yours? Oh, you're getting bites. You're getting bites, those are good bites. Or is it me? It's you. Oh, it's me. <laughs> well, they look like good bites. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's How's that? It. That's perfect. How's that for a bullhead? That's pretty nice. Oh, I don't want to lift them up. I got light line here. It's going to break. Very light line. Oh. <laughs> you know, you people have written in and said, do catfish have teeth? Well, their teeth are kind of like sandpaper. And their, uh, their mouths are very strong. And what they'll do, they'll clamp down on your on your finger and uh, they'll definitely cut your skin. I'll show you the teeth on this catfish. Oh, I'm a little bit shady there. I don't know if you could see, but on the bottom jaw here, there's they're like sandpaper teeth. It's like a hard gristle right here. And, uh, and they can really clamp down if you put your your hand in their mouth, if they decide to clamp down, uh, it, it, it will hurt a little. <laughs> okay, but that's a nice, uh, that's another nice bullhead right there. And that's what I'm able to cut bait. The cut bait produces bigger fish. And away he goes. He got a bite. I saw that bite, he had a real nice bite. Hopefully uh, it's still there. Give him time, give him time. They don't normally let go, so... No, they don't. Usually, like I say, the bites have been aggressive so far. They haven't really stopped biting, but sometimes they'll do that. And if they do do that, if you get some bites and you notice they've stopped, don't don't take your line out. Give them a chance. Just wait, because chances are he'll come back around and he'll pick up that bait. Yep. He, he's on there? Yep. There you go. He was on there. <laughs> That's the thing. He picked it up and came back. Now you gotta watch my line. We don't wanna get tangled up here. Feel like a decent one? Yeah, it feels not too bad. There you go. Got some good head shakes. Yeah, beautiful. And you know, we're joking around here about, you know, the poor man's rod holder here and the pail. But, uh, oh, that's a nice full head. Joking around about that, but you know what, folks? It just goes to show you, you don't really need a lot of money to get set up for catfishing. Here we are with a couple of T-turns, a couple of hooks and a sinker, a pail, homemade rod holder. I'm using an old rod and an old reel. That reel sounds like a meat grinder, but it still works. But the point is, you don't need a huge investment to get out there and enjoy catching catfish, and it, it's a lot of fun. My rod almost went in. Nice. You know what, it might be, I, saw, I, I just saw Antonio get a bite. Oh, I got, got another channel cat. Oh, he's a screamer. Oh, no. I got another channel cat. I just saw until I just saw you getting the bullhead bites, and I just looked at you. He's getting ready to set the hook, 
and then all of a sudden my rod just went whammo. <laughs> it might it might be it's obviously another channel catfish. Oh my, that was great. Well, hopefully you'll get that bullhead. You definitely had a bullhead biting on your line. Yeah, I saw it. That was a definite bullhead bite. And I got myself another channel cat. Well, these are bonus fish. Bonus fish. What happened? Did you stop biting? I did. Maybe he's still there, like the last one. Maybe. You want to try and see if he's still there? Might be on. You can't feel him. No, he's not there. I got a small channel cat. There's another bonus fish. Okay. Again. <laughs> That's a smaller a smaller channel cat. A very nice one. Just hooked just oh just on the bottom lip there. Come on out. There we go. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's a nice channel catfish, but look at that, aren't they a beautiful fish? Nice coloration on them. Just really, really nice fish. Whoops, almost lost them. Okay, let's get them back in. <sighs> Folks, you know what? Fishing for catfish, it's rewarding. It's a lot of fun. It's relaxing. If you get an opportunity, you need to get out this spring. Get yourself some a little bit of cut bait and uh, go out there. If you've got some T-turns, that's great. Put your Set up a T-turn rig. Don't forget your pail, of course. Get your trusty pail. Get out there and enjoy some of the springtime weather and enjoy some great catfishing. It really is a lot of fun. We're gonna keep fishing this afternoon here because we are having a riot. And I wanna thank you so much for tuning in. It's always great to see you. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. Teaser tea. Yes, it's a new teaser. And the, the, the ideal thing with this new teaser, folks, is it's built right into a T-turn.